Picture this, it's a balmy summer evening, and you find yourself in a dimly lit room, the glow of a vintage television casting flickering shadows across your eager face. The year is 1979, and anticipation is in the air as you settle into your favorite armchair, remote control in hand, ready to embark on a cinematic journey like no other. And then, it happens the opening credits roll, the familiar strains of Gonna Fly now fill the room, and you are transported into the world of Rocky Balboa once again. This is your first encounter with the 1979 classic, Rocky II, and little do you know that it will etch indelible memories in your mind. The tale of resilience, the sweet taste of victory, and the unbreakable spirit of Rocky and his beloved Adrian unfolds before your eyes. You witness Rocky's arduous training, the stirring moments in the boxing ring, and the poignant scenes that tug at your heartstrings. It's a roller coaster of emotions, and you're right there, riding every high and low with our Italian stallion. But what makes Rocky II even more remarkable are the behind-the-scenes anecdotes and fascinating trivia that add layers of intrigue to this cinematic masterpiece. Did you know that Sylvester Stallone suffered a real injury while filming the final fight scene? Or that the iconic Rocky statue at the Philadelphia Museum of Art was originally a movie prop and later became a symbol of hope for the city? As we dive deeper into the hidden gems and curious facts about Rocky II, y'all gain a newfound appreciation for the dedication and passion that went into creating this iconic film. So, fasten your seatbelt as we embark on a journey through the untold stories and fascinating tidbits that make Rocky II an enduring cinematic triumph. Rocky II, released in 1979, is the highly anticipated sequel to the iconic sports drama Rocky. Directed by Sylvester Stallone, who also stars as the titular character Rocky Balboa, the film continues the compelling underdog story of the Philadelphia boxer. In this installment, Rocky faces the challenges of life after his epic bout with Apollo Creed, played by Carl Weathers. The film delves into Rocky's struggles with financial instability and his desire for a more settled life with his love, Adrian, portrayed by Talia Shire. Rocky II showcases the relentless determination of its characters, notably Rocky's unwavering pursuit of boxing glory despite personal hurdles. The film maintains the gritty, character-driven style of the original while elevating the emotional stakes. The iconic training montage, set to Bill Conti's unforgettable score, remains one of cinema's most enduring sequences. As Rocky readies himself for a rematch against Apollo, the film builds to a thrilling climax, reaffirming themes of resilience, love, and the indomitable human spirit. This sequel solidified Rocky Balboa's status as a beloved cinematic hero, and further embedded the character's inspirational journey into popular culture. Rocky II exemplifies the enduring appeal of an underdog narrative and the power of persistence, leaving an indelible mark on both the sports film genre and American cinema as a whole. In the scene where Rocky is filming a commercial for Beast Cologne in the 1979 movie Rocky II, one of the chairs in the background reads Joe Spinal, the actor who played Lone Shark Tony Gatso in Rocky in this film. This subtle nod to a character from the first film adds a touch of continuity to the Rocky series, showing the filmmaker's attention to detail. Sylvester Stallone began working on the Rocky III script immediately after completing Rocky II, with the intention of the series being a trilogy. Originally, he had no plans to make a fourth film. This insight into Stallone's original vision for the Rocky series sheds light on his creative process and the evolution of the iconic character of Rocky Balboa. In one version of the screenplay for Rocky II, there is a flashback scene that shows Rocky first meeting Mickey, his trainer, and we learn Rocky's real first name, Robert. This revelation about Rocky's past adds depth to his character and provides fans with a glimpse into his backstory. These behind-the-scenes details offer a fascinating glimpse into the making of Rocky II and the thought that went into the film's production. They show how the filmmakers incorporated references to the first film, Stallone's initial plans for the series, and the development of Rocky's character. Analysis by Philadelphia locals tracked the route Rocky took through the city during his training run when all the children ended up running with him. If he took this actual route from his South Philly house to the top of the art museum steps, he would run approximately 30.2 miles in one day four miles more than a marathon. This insight showcases the dedication and endurance portrayed by Rocky in the film, 
as he pushed himself to the limits of physical fitness in his quest for redemption in the boxing ring. A hospital Rocky and Apollo were taken to at the beginning as Pennsylvania Hospital. The nurse who asks Rocky for an autograph is wearing a button which reads him proud to work at the nation's first hospital, celebrating 225 years in 1976. Pennsylvania Hospital was founded in 1751 and is located at 8 Spruce Street in Philadelphia. This historical connection adds depth to the film's setting emphasizing the rich heritage of the city in which the story unfolds. In the first draft of the script, the fight took place at the Roman Colosseum. This intriguing tidbit reveals an early creative direction that would have taken the iconic Rocky verses. Apollo showdown to an entirely different setting. It underscores the creative process behind the film and how decisions made during pre-production can significantly impact the final product. These insights shed light on some lesser-known aspects of the 1979 movie Rocky II, offering a deeper understanding of the film's historical and creative context. In the 1979 movie Rocky II, several interesting details add depth to the story. One notable fact is that during Rocky's training for the big fight, he sparred with a smaller, quicker fighter, portrayed by real-life champion Robert O'Durin. This choice likely added authenticity to the training scenes and showcased Rocky's dedication to improving his boxing skills. Another intriguing detail is that during the main fight, Apollo Creed wore the exact same red and white trimmed shorts that Rocky had worn in the overhead banner with his picture during their first fight in the original Rocky film from 1976. This subtle callback to their first encounter underscores the continuity of the rivalry between the two fighters. Furthermore, Rocky director John G. Avildsen opted not to return for Rocky II. Part of the reason for this decision was his commitment to directing Saturday Night Fever. This opportunity allowed Sylvester Stallone, who played Rocky Balboa, to take on the role of writer and director for Rocky II. Interestingly, Avildsen eventually left the Saturday Night Fever project, and Stallone would go on to write and direct the sequel to Saturday Night Fever, titled Staying Alive, in 1983. Avildsen later returned to direct Rocky V in 1990 marking an 11-year gap between his involvement in the Rocky series. These details add depth to the making of Rocky II and the broader context of the Rocky film series. They shed light on the collaboration and career trajectories of the individuals involved in bringing this iconic sports drama to the screen. In the 1979 movie Rocky II, one notable aspect is the absence of a smile from Apollo Creed throughout the entire film. Despite the challenges and intense competition between the two characters, Apollo maintains a serious and focused demeanor, reflecting the high stakes of their rematch in the boxing ring. Additionally, during an appearance on Friday Night with Jonathan Ross in 2001, Sylvester Stallone, the actor who portrayed Rocky Balboa, gave the movie a score of 7 half out of 10. This rating suggests that Stallone himself viewed Rocky II as a solid continuation of the Rocky saga, though not without its flaws. A unique connection to the Stallone family is also present in the film. Sylvester Stallone's infant son, Sergio Stallone, played the role of the newborn Robert Balboa Jr. This familial tie adds a personal touch to the movie. Interestingly, in the subsequent installment, Rocky V, the role of Robert Balboa Jr. was taken over by Sylvester Stallone's elder son, Sage Stallone, completing a symbolic passing of the torch within the Stallone family. These aspects contribute to the intrigue and legacy of Rocky II, making it a noteworthy chapter in the Rocky film series. Film series. Film series. In the 1979 movie Rocky II, there's a subtle detail that some eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed. Butkus Stallone, the dog of the film star Sylvester Stallone, is seen wearing a shirt with the word Eagles in the number 51. However, in 1976, when the film is set, no player on the Philadelphia Eagles football team wore the number 51. It wasn't until 1979 that linebacker Reggie Wilkes donned the 51 jersey for the Eagles. This small historical inaccuracy in the movie's wardrobe might go unnoticed by many, but it's a detail that reflects the film's dedication to authenticity in capturing the atmosphere of the era it portrays. On a larger scale, Rocky II also involved the participation of approximately 800 local schoolchildren as extras for a memorable scene. This scene depicts Rocky Balboa's iconic run through the streets of Philadelphia, a moment that has become ingrained in cinematic history. The use of local children as extras added a genuine and heartwarming touch to the film, 
creating a connection between the fictional world of Rocky and the real-life city of Philadelphia. One of the most intriguing behind-the-scenes stories from Rocky II centers on a heated moment between Sylvester Stallone and Carl Weathers. After the bell rang to signal the end of the second round in their on-screen boxing match, the two actors were seen pushing, shoving, and taunting each other. What's surprising is that this wasn't part of the script or their acting. Stallone later revealed that they were genuinely angry with each other at that moment. Some punches that were supposed to miss actually landed, and the carefully choreographed fight went off track during that scene. However, Stallone appreciated the authentic reaction it produced and decided to keep the momentary break from character in the final cut of the film. The audience never realized that the two actors were, in fact, quite upset with each other during that intense scene. In summary, Rocky II is not only a classic sports film, but also a production filled with intriguing details and behind-the-scenes stories. From historical wardrobe inaccuracies to the involvement of local schoolchildren as extras to the unexpected tension between Stallone and Weathers, these elements add depth to the movie's legacy and continue to captivate audiences to this day. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the timeless classic that is Rocky II. This 1979 masterpiece, born from the indomitable spirit of Sylvester Stallone, transcends the boxing ring to become a story of perseverance, love, and the relentless pursuit of one's dreams. In the heart of this iconic film, we witness the triumphant return of Rocky Balboa, a man who defies the odds and proves that victory is not just about winning but about the unwavering belief in oneself. It's a narrative that resonates with the human spirit, urging us to dig deep into our own aspirations, regardless of the obstacles that stand in our way. What is it about Rocky II that stirs your soul? Is it the heart-pounding training montages, the tender moments between Rocky and Adrian, or the electric showdown in the ring that leaves you breathless every time? Perhaps it's the unforgettable soundtrack that still plays in your mind inspiring you to push past your limits. I encourage you to share your cherished memories, thoughts, or personal connections with Rocky II. Let your voice join the chorus of admirers who have been moved by this cinematic gem. Whether you've watched it with friends, family, or even on your own, your perspective adds another layer to the rich tapestry of experiences woven by this remarkable film. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and your insights are invaluable. So, reflect, reminisce, and share your thoughts on Rocky II with us. We look forward to hearing your stories. Warm regards and best wishes, and best wishes, and best wishes.